It speaks so much about what our ideals are about a feminine body with a great sense of humor as well as this kind of rock and roll aesthetic. It brings it into contemporary space. Hi, I'm Tiffany from Artlock here with Evie Day um, at The Hole, where her latest exhibition, Juvenile, is on view. Um, and we're here to talk about it. Um, so I understand that you can see this while you're an artist in residence um, at Monet's estate. Yes, I was, and it's really great. We've been transported here now with, with um, we built a bridge and sort of brought the garden here to New York City to kind of reactivate, reanimate what it was like to be there. Um, but when I was there, uh, I was very inspired by this iconic garden, and I invited Kemba Fowler, the performance artist, the voluptuous heart of Karen Black, to come and for me to photograph her there um, for many reasons. But aesthetically, I felt like she really complemented what was going on with the garden in terms of like bright, bright color like a flower and then the black pond and black hair and teeth and boots and there's something very synergistic even though it seems unlikely. She represents a kind of feminine extreme, you know, that has to do with sort of beauty and then also the black and teeth and um, sort of there's a, a scary thing there and then she's nude but she's not really nude, she's just like her whole body is a color and if she wasn't wearing the paint it would be a whole different yeah. thing of like, oh, naked in the garden and it would take you back in time and you'd think about, you know, 18th century kind of paintings or frolicking. So the context being something from 100 years old, the, you know, the garden that's been yeah. maintained. And then Kembra sort of now, um, something about that collusion together and nature and manicuring nature, but then being kind of wild at the same time. Well, artifice can be beautiful and you can participate in it but also you realize it's different. Is this a point of departure for you, or is it something that's just kind of like a... Um, I, well, you know, I, I haven't done a lot of photography, but a lot has come out of this project in Jewelry. Right. But I'll say that with the Exploding Couture, it's very similar in concept where, you know, I take feminine gowns that are specific, like Marilyn Rose gown, and then transform it into something that is about a question or expansion from that place of, you know, a 50s style. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's like putting Kembra in this garden transforms it into another space with other questions.